this video I'm going to show you yet a third presentation created with N5 and InDesign, this one focusing on custom slide transitions. So you can set a default when you export. In this case, because I chose the slider fade in mode, a simple fade is the default transition. But then on these individual slides, I've set different push transitions. So this one is horizontal, and of course I can go backwards by clicking the back arrow key, and that goes in the other direction. Go to the next slide, and here I have an example of pushing vertically. You can do this in all sorts of ways. Let's take a look at the InDesign document to see how this is set up. So again, under this In5 menu, under the new Enhancement section, go to the Custom Slide Transitions. And here I have this panel. It shows me the current page. There's an In Transition and Out Transition, and a couple of buttons to make things easier. So I can, anything I apply, I can then choose to apply to all pages if I want to set a default. I can click the Edit All Transitions button, and that lets me edit everything all together. Go ahead and cancel that. Let's take a look at some of the specific pages so you can see what else is going on. So let's scroll down to this Push Horizontal page. Now you can see the Out is to the left. So this left border, the document is going to go out toward the left. I'll scroll down to the next page, and that one comes in from the right. So that first page going out from the left, the second one coming in from the right is what creates that sort of parallax push transition effect. Same thing on this next page, it goes out from the bottom because we're going to go push up and see higher up in the trees, and this bottom one comes in from the top. So you can see you can create some really cool effects this way and keep your viewers engaged. Now it can be a little bit of a pain to set up these files, especially if you're going from something like Photoshop to PowerPoint or Keynote, and you have to slice up these images properly ahead of time and then position everything and set up your transitions. And InDesign's a little bit easier because we can use frames around the boxes to crop them easily, but I made it even easier for you with a click of just a single button. And I'm going to show you how that works in the next video.